Oh, it's all the stuff in that bag. Yeah. Woo! Christmas is early. <laughs> this incorporates two of my favorite things. What is it? Eating uh -huh. and spending time with you. Oh, I, was, I was hoping you would send me in some capacity. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another taste test video with my bestie for the restie slash roommate, Miss Cara R. Reedy. That's me. If you're new to my channel, hello. My name is Amanda. I have been vegan for almost seven years. I didn't really eat much meat before going vegan and... Yeah, because of that, I don't tend to eat a lot of mock meat products as a vegan, but I really enjoy like mock dairy products and things like that as well. What about you? I eat mock meat mm -hmm. and I love mock meat. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're more of a mock dairy person. Yes. And I'm more of a mock, although I do like mock dairy. Yeah. I'll have anything. How I'm not a picky eater. How long have you been vegan for? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. So yes, we both kind of do enjoy trying different vegan products mm. here and there. Cara definitely leans more towards enjoying like the mock meat products. I lean more towards enjoying the mock dairy products. In today's video, we are trying eight different <gasps> vegan products that I'm pretty confident neither of us have ever tried that we got from Woolworths here in Australia, which is a leading supermarket chain here in Australia if you're not from Australia. I just said Australia so many times it felt <laughs> uncomfortable, but you know, when you're trying to find another word yeah. for something, I was like, there's no other word. I could Australia. tell with the last one, you were like, trying to find a word. Yeah. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> so I have picked out all of these products. Miss Cara already has no idea what we're trying today. No idea. I'm really, really excited. The last time we filmed one of these videos, it was so much fun. So I hope you love it. And hopefully, we find something new that we like to purchase regularly and hopefully you find something new to try. The last video, we didn't really find something that we loved so much that we bought it all the time. Did no, we? we didn't. No. I think we will today. Okay. Well, I think you definitely will today. <laughs> okay. Can I just quickly say? Yes. It actually feels like I should be the one that's like giving you foods that you don't know about to try, but I just know you don't trust me that much. Well, next time we should do that. Because <laughs> it's your channel. Next time I'll give you a budget, I'll say go to the store. Okay. Get yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay. So the first product that we are trying today is this. <gasps> what is that? Which is a... <gasps> Yum! A dairy-free mac and cheese bacon-free smoky flavor. Yum! That's what I can smell. Yes, that's what you can smell. It's so, it smells so yummy. So there are a lot of vegan mac and cheese alternatives now at leading supermarkets I here in like Australia. I feel like they just recently popped up. They've popped up everywhere. And I think that's because they're pretty simple to make, mm. to be honest. And also just like great. So, so fast. And so easy. fast. Yeah. So I have pre prepared this. All I had to do was mix this packet with two cups of water over the heat, oh. and that's it. No butter, no milk. It was nothing. all in there. It was all in there. Oh, wow. I know. So here we have it. This is our bacon free smoky flavored dairy free name, mac and cheese it? <laughs> it is a very long name this is also very very hot and we're in summer here in australia so it's not like super appealing to me right now oh, it's but appealing to me the smell is great i got a spoon as well i hope oh. that's okay yeah the texture the texture is like so oh my god it's so hot can you see that steam coming up the te can you stir it the texture oh it's <laughs> it feels slightly pornographic <laughs> Okay. Yum! Should we try? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I personally enjoy it. It's not cheesy enough for me. I understand. I also agree. I think it's absolutely yep. delicious and I definitely would purchase again. It's great for if you want to have it in your cupboard. This is one of those things where if you have it in your cupboard for literally when like you're running late. If you want like a vegan, um, super fast, like creamy, pasta where well, you don't have to add anything don't have to water. add anything in your cupboard just for like yeah like super quick meals this is definitely a good option we clearly enjoy because we keep eating um, we keep saying we don't love it that much oh. <laughs> on the count of three out of ten okay. what we rate it three two one six. seven. Oh, what's that an average of 6.5 mm. 6.5 nice. out of 10 not bad. That's a good for the start. Old mac and cheese. We didn't like quite a few things in the last. Oh, the last, last one. one. If you haven't watched our last <laughs> taste test, I'll link it down below. There was a lot that we didn't like enjoy. There was a lot that was not enjoyed, and there was a lot that was just simply like we were. It wasn't love. It wasn't hate. It was just indifference. So, yeah, I feel like something sweet. Oh, that reminds me. You can actually pick up. An amazing vegan dessert cookbook called I Feel Like Something Sweet with 20 plus recipes. 
It's got everything you need in it. It's amazing. It's filled with delicious recipes. It's only $13. Where can you buy that? AmandaDucks.com. <laughs> Yeah, you can. <laughs> so the next thing that we are trying today is... Oh my god, rice books! They look like LCM bars! Yes. Yum! So this is a, like, sugar-free, that's fine, but vegan-friendly and lunchbox-friendly marshmallow flavoured rice bar. Why are they sugar-free? Well, this brand is like a sugar-free, like, well, it's 96% sugar-free. They're like a low sugar. There's okay. probably so much stevia in this. Let's find okay. out. Erythritol. Look. And stevia. They have a few different flavors of these, but these ones sounded the most interesting. The marshmallow. Yum. Got me. Did you used to have LCM bars when you were a kid? Oh, they were so they good. They were so Did good. The ones with the Smarties, the little, the the little chocolate Smartie ones chocolate. With Smarties yeah. on top. Yeah. I had them in my lunchbox all the mm -hmm. time. Yep. So good. Oh. 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 oh, that smells very sweet. Nothing like the sweet, sweet taste of erythritol. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. Mm. I like them too. Mm. I wasn't sure at first because of the texture. Mm -hmm. I thought they were going to be so sickening. They smell so, so sweet. sweet. Okay. Three, two, one, eight. 8.5. Oh. That's an average of 8.25. That is. Mm. Good for you, hon. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a great start. We are off mm. to a great start. So the next thing that we are trying are these. <gasps> oh my god, fishless fingers! I'm gonna love these! Have you tried these? No! I mean, I've had vegan fish, fish fingers, uh -huh. but I haven't tried this flavor. When I, mean, I saw these, brand. when I saw these, I was like, Cara needs to try I these. I love a vegan like, fish finger. Deeply needs to try these. Yeah, or so, like a vegan fish fillet. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, personally, like I haven't really eaten fish in my life because I don't like it. So I am very excited to try, but also nervous. I, yeah, you never eat something like this. No. What do they smell like? Fish fingers. That smells so much like a fish Oh my God, finger. it does. It smells like a fillet of fish from McDonald's. Is it a filet of fish or a fillet of fish? I'm being serious. Surely it's a fillet of fish. Anyway, bottoms up. Mm. You don't like it? I hate mock meat. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I, I know I'm not going to like it. I love it. So here's the thing. I respect this brand making a product that tastes so much like fish, smells so much like fish. Like I personally could not eat that because I get the ick from mock meat products. To this brand, Earth, it's not you, it's me. Yeah, it's definitely you. It tastes like fish. Mm -hmm. I, I love it. Great. It's great. I think I have previously, like when I've gotten fish and chips, like chips, mm. I've made, like I'd be paid brought the chips home, I'd make little fish, fish fingers. Uh -huh. So nice. That's good to know actually, because they only take 20 minutes in the oven. You could even make your own filet of fish <laughs> at home. I could. Okay, I don't know whether to, when I rate this, like give the give the people that, created this credit or do it on a personal level on a personal level okay it's a taste test video what did you like the taste you it's your taste opinion mm -hmm. okay three, three two, two one, one eight one. <laughs> that's did you hear that much yes that's so wild i literally like fish is the last mock meat product okay. that i would ever eat like okay uh, you would get yeah i could eat maybe mock chicken mm -hmm. maybe mock like other products but like Fish? fish is no. I literally have eaten fish once in my life. I love life. that you bought it then for this video. It was, again, it was for you. It was not for me. Okay. So one and eight is <laughs> two and seven, three and six, four and five, four point five. Okay. Out of ten. What would you have given it if you were giving credit to the brand, but not basing it on personal taste? A nine. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. I think that this is a great vegan product. Yeah. Yeah. So next we are trying this, <gasps> which is one of Health Lab's oh. new balls. An Amanda Ducks classic. <laughs> you love Health Lab. Health Lab bring out so <laughs> many products that I can't keep up and I have to keep trying them. It's like they are always working on a product. They're brilliant and their marketing is so brilliant. Mm. Like everything about this brand to me is like they've nailed it. Mm. Anyway, this is a peanut butter jelly ball. Love 
Oh, do I love peanut butter jelly? Do you? No. Yeah, I've never, like, I remember when I was a kid, I had the peanut butter jelly, like, sandwiches, because, like, you know, you'd saw them, see them, like, movies and stuff. Mm. Didn't like it. No. Let's see, though. A raspberry jelly inspired center wrapped in a light peanut butter layer. Okay. I, I kind of, oh, I hate the texture. Oh. Oh. Jelly's quite firm. Oh. Oh. Which one do you want? Oh, this one. You'll have that one. Bottoms up, Bottoms darling. Up. <laughs> Did you like it? No. I love most things that Health Lab do. In my eyes, they usually don't do any wrong. That? I don't like that. <laughs> Me either. I really want to because like I've mentioned, brilliant company, mm. love their work. Look, some people might really like that. Mm -hmm. We don't. We don't. And that's okay. I only like jam on select things. I, on a scone? On a scone. Oh. Jams, look, in terms of when they belong, scone is number one. Yeah. Okay, I'm really sorry to do this to your health lab in mm. advance. Love you so much. Three, three two, two, one, one three. point five. Oh, oh, you really went low. <laughs> How am I going to come up? That's a 2.25 average. Makes sense. So the next thing that we are trying today is this. <gasps> Pasta. A vegan oh. gluten-free vegetable lasagna. Yum. Now I need to say something. I've put myself in it here because it's got zucchini and mushrooms in it. <laughs> and I'm doing this. Look, don't say for me. No. <laughs> I'm doing this for you. Yeah. Our good friend Megs has been telling me for a while that there is a vegan lasagna in the freezer section at the supermarket that we need to try because it's so good. Mm, and I think this might be it. This What's is the, the only one that I could find. Really excited. I put it in the oven. It had to go in for 45 minutes. Oh, I know. It's like a legit lasagna. I think you can microwave it. You can microwave it for six to eight minutes though. This could be a good work meal for you. Why is a microwave quicker? Where's your phone? Why is a microwave? Microwave cooks food much faster than a conventional oven because it heats both the inside and outside. How does it do that? Microwaves cause water molecules in food to vibrate, producing heat that cooks the food. <gasps> that makes sense. Are you confused? Mm. <laughs> so this is our lasagna situation that's happening right now. Mm. I'm curious. This is also piping hot. I used to love that brand, piping hot. Oh, me too. They've kind of skimped on the little end part, didn't they? I know. Doesn't really fit in that little box. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've really gone for it here. Mm. I like it. It tastes like a microwave lasagna. It, we, we, we didn't microwave it, but it tastes like a microwave lasagna. Yeah. It tastes like a lasagna that got made a long time ago. It tastes like what it is. Yeah. Lasagna that's been in the freezer mm -hmm. to heat up for a convenient meal that mm -hmm. is plant-based mm -hmm. and gluten-free. Mm -hmm. So for what it is, great work. I agree. Mm. For what it is, great work. <laughs> Good for you. Look happy and healthy. Not, Not me, me, if you, you ever care to ask. <laughs> but we nailed that. We did nail that. <laughs> Three, two, one, five. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so that's an average of 4.5. It is. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so this next thing that we're trying is something that people in the comments of my YouTube videos have been suggesting I try for a while. This range mm. of food. They've said, Amanda, you need to try the Health Lab Kids range. The Kids range? Health Lab have a Kids range. Everything was sold out except this one thing. Okay. Okay. Oh. It's this. A <gasps> coconut rough. This says, psst, to all the so-called grown-ups, the Health Lab Kids range wasn't just made for your little ones. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. So, yeah, apparently Health Lab Kids have a bunch of really great stuff. But cool. this is all that I could get today. Is Health Lab all vegan? I'm pretty confident that they are. Three, two, two one, boink. boink. <laughs> I really like this. It's quite yummy. How much were they? Eight bucks, maybe. Oh, my God. That's actually quite expensive. But I guess you're getting... Oh. Yeah. It's pretty yummy. I, honestly, I wasn't expecting to like it because 
I didn't like coconut, but that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Our rating, should we get to it? Do you know where you're going? Yeah. I think I know where I'm going to. Same. Three, two, one, nine. nine. Oh, oh, you went very high there. <laughs> well, I can't really fault, fault it. Mm. It kind of is also, when we first pulled another thing, I was like, that's really, that's like a thin chocolate. Mm. But it's kind of all you need. Yes. It's very chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's great. Does something smell a bit funky? Well, I just, is, I is just it, cook something. Is it the food? I think it is. Oh, no. Okay. So the next thing that we're trying is this. Oh, okay. Which is pulled oats. It smells like oats. It smells like oats. Now that you mentioned it. Plant-based protein. So it's very, very interesting and I'm very curious to try it because I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> you could really like this. This one is the tomato flavor. They also have a plain one, but I decided okay. to get the tomato so at least we had something. Cool. This is the texture. It's very meaty looking. Okay, are you ready to try? Um, yeah. Bottoms up. Boink. <laughs> I'm interested to hear how you like that because I didn't really enjoy it that much. I think that might be one of the best mock meats I've ever had. Is that because it tastes like oats? <laughs> it's probably because I know that it's like oats. oats. <laughs> That's interesting because I really don't like that. No, I think that it's I think that it's decent and I think that if it was cooked better and like cooked in something, then it would be really nice. I guess the idea is probably that you put it in like a bolognese or something, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think it would taste really good in a bolognese. I agree. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> really? What? What's up? Okay, so let's do our rating. Are you ready? Three, Three two, two, one, one two. I don't, I just didn't know what to say. Why didn't you stop me? So I said nothing. <laughs> oh my God. I think mine was going to be a, a five or oh, a six. Oh, okay. If I was rating it off like what I like, the, the, the taste of that, it would be a two. But uh -huh. if I'm rating it off like, I would try that. I don't hate it so much that I wouldn't try it in it's a bolognese. It's got potential. It's got potential. I would give it a five for including the potential status. Okay. A two for how much I enjoyed it. Okay. I think I'll just give it a five flat. Okay. Okay. Cool. Great. 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 So the final thing that we're trying in today's taste test is... Oh my God. You are so you. It's ridiculous. What is this? Would it be an Amanda Duck's taste test without... <gasps> Chocolate orange! Yes! Yum! So this is a blood orange dark chocolate spread by Panna. As you may know if you watched our <laughs> previous video, we did a taste test of a raspberry coconut chocolate spread, which we didn't love. No. But this one just sounded so up yep. both of our alley that I thought we need to give it a yes. crack. Oh. Give it a little mix. Oh. Oh. Boink. Boink. <laughs> that is just tastes like a Jaffa. It does. Oh my God, I love Jaffas. Sorry, I know I'm not meant to be swearing on your channel. It's so fine. That's not limited edition for the holidays or anything, is it? Uh, oh my God, yum. Okay, that was definitely delicious. Panna Organic, this is a thing. They usually don't miss. They may have missed last time. Yeah. Okay, they yeah. usually, I think they're usually pretty good and pretty reputable for a reason. Oh my God, I'm so excited to read this one. Okay, you ready? Three, Three two, two, one, ten. Nine. Oh! What did you give? Why did you take off one? Um, because I don't think it's a ten. What would make it a 10? If it was Nutella. Anyway, that brings <laughs> us to the end of our taste test today. My personal favorites for today are probably... Oh! I personally love and would buy again the mac and cheese, the panna spread, the rice puff bars, the coconut You're wraps. naming everything. <laughs> The only things I... What about you? What would you buy? I would... I will be buying this. Mm -hmm. I love this. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I'm actually going to struggle not to eat the rest of that when you turn the camera off. <laughs> what did I really enjoy? The fish fingers. I really liked those. Uh -huh. And I liked the um, LCM bar type things. Mm -hmm. The 
what are they called? Marshmallow bars. Yeah. I like those as well. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a great option of things to try the next time you go to Woolies and mm -hmm. do your shop. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks, Miss Reedy, for being with me in this video. You say you want car content. <laughs> I'm here with the car content. I see the comments, I promise. So if you want us to come back for another taste test and me to bring Miss Reedy on the channel again next time for her to choose while we're taste testing, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Happy shopping at the supermarket. <laughs> and do you have anything to say? No, I don't. Great. For once in my life. <laughs> it's a rarity. Okay, bye. Have a beautiful bye. day. <laughs>